All it's asking you, all right, for your homework, this is all it simply is going through. And I didn't really get a great chance to go through this. But it says, given a polynomial and one of its factors. So it's saying this is a factor, right? They said this is a factor. How do we know it's, we know it's a factor because it has to divide. That means if this is a factor, we know it divides into this and produces a remainder of 0, right? So let's prove that. Let's make sure we get that answer. Well, then it says, once you get a net factor, find the remaining factors. Well, remember, when we divided, we get a remainder 0. We have an answer, right? That's going to be our remaining factor. So what we need to do is we need to first use synthetic division to divide this. So I'm going to make sure I use my, um, the opposite version of my x minus 3, so it's going to be positive 3. And then use synthetic division. 1, negative 6, 11, negative 6. Bring down the 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 6 plus 3, negative 3. Negative 3 times 3 is going to be negative 9. 11 plus negative 9 is going to be positive 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Bring down a remainder of 0. I did that very quickly because that's how quickly we got to get to synthetic division now. You guys can see I have a remainder, constant, linear, and quadratic. So we could say, hey, the factored form then, Mr. McLogan, is x squared minus 3x plus 2 times x minus 3. That's what this says. This divides into this this many times. But that's not what the question is asking. The question is asking, find all of the factors. And we want to find all the factors. Yeah, you can say that this is factored. This times this equals our polynomial. But what I want you guys to understand is we need to make sure we write them as linear factors. This is linear. This is not linear. So we need to say, can we rewrite this as two linear factors? And you just need to factor them again. So that's why all that practice of factoring needs to come into play. So therefore, my final answer for my homework is going to be just right there. Okay.